In this question, we have to show that the speed of the particle at t equals 0.882 milliseconds is 4.9 meters per second. We will use this equation from subtopic 9.1, where v is speed, omega is angular frequency, x0 is amplitude or maximum displacement, and x is the displacement of the particle at the given moment in time. Let's start by finding x0 from the graph which is the amplitude of the graph, so 4 millimeters. x is the displacement of the particle at 0 0.882 milliseconds, so we have to use the dotted line and find the displacement when the distance is equal to 1 meter. Reading the value from the dotted line, x is equal to negative 1.5 millimeters. Please note that in the formula that I'm using to solve this question, x represents the displacement, while on the graph given in the question, the displacement is represented by y. I just wanted to point this out to avoid any confusion. Let's substitute into the equation. So we get v is equal to, and since we are looking for the speed and not the velocity, I will just avoid the positive and negative signs from here. So we get 1.3 times 10 to the power of 3, multiplied by 4 millimeters squared, and I will use this conversion from the metric multiplier section of the data booklet to convert millimeters into meters. So for x0, I have 4 times 10 to the power of negative 3, and this is squared, minus x squared, which I will again convert, so I get negative 1.5 times 10 to the power of negative 3 squared, and this is under the square root. Carrying out this calculation, we get approximately 4.82 meters per second, which is about 4.8 meters per second. Note that the given show that answer is 4.9 meters per second. The discrepancy between our answer and the given show that answer is due to rounding, and if you lay out your working as I have done here, you will receive the two marks on this question. In addition, it makes sense to work with the 1.3 times 10 to the power of 3 value for omega from question part B2, because B2 is also a show that question, and the purpose of a show that question is usually so that you can use the show that result in a later question part. A final point related to the calculated value that we have found in this question. Since it is a show that question, we have to round our calculated value to at least one more significant figure than the number of significant figures in the given show that value. Since the show that value has two significant figures, we should round our calculated value to at least three significant figures in order to earn the second mark.